Pope Cyril III of Alexandria was the 75th Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark. He was known as Cyril III ibn Laklak. Curls al Palth Aben Lakul. His episcopate lasted seven years, eight months, and twenty three days from Sunday, the 17th of June 1235 AD, 23 951 AM, to Tuesday, the 10th of March 1243 AD, 14 Baramhat 959 AM. Before his ordination, the episcopal seat was vacant for 19 years, in part due to the competition between the three candidates vying for the position, including Ibn Laklak himself. His ordination was controversial. The See of St. Mark remained vacant for seven years, six months and twenty-eight days after the death of Cyril ibn Laklak until he was succeeded by Pope Athanasius III of Alexandria on Sunday 9 October 1250 AD. After the departure of Cyril ibn Laklak, the apostolic throne remained vacant because of the intense persecution which did not allow the Copts to elect a successor. Cyril ibn Laklak was buried in the Wax Monastery in Giza, Dear al In his time, the papal residence was located at the Church of the Holy Virgin Mary and St. Damiana known as the Hanging Church in Coptic Cairo. Regretfully, the history of the Coptic Church remembers him as a lover of money who did not ordain a bishop nor a priest nor a deacon without getting paid a practice which is called simony, the act of selling church offices and roles, named after the story of Simon Magus narrated in Acts chapter 8 verses 9-24. In 1238, he issued a new set of canons for the Coptic Church and its dependencies in Ethiopia, Nubia, and Cyrenaica. Topic Contemporary rulers of Egypt During his episcopate topic The episcopate of Cyril III Ibn Laklak started on 17 June 1235 AD and ended on 10 March 1243 AD, but the episcopal seat had been vacant for 19 years before his consecration i.e. since 1216 AD, in part due to the competition between the three candidates vying for the position including Ibn Laklak. Additionally, the episcopal seat remained vacant after the death of Ibn Laklak for almost seven years and seven months until the consecration of his successor Pope Athanasius III of Alexandria on 9 October 1250 AD. The 34 years that had passed from the death of his predecessor, Pope John VI of Alexandria, the 74th Pope of Alexandria, in 1216 AD to his own death in 1243, and to the later consecration of his successor Pope Athanasius III of Alexandria in 1250 AD saw the reign of Egypt come under the following rules, 1200 August 1218 AD, the 4th Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt and Syria al-Adil i, al-Mulk al-Adil al-Malik al-Adil Saif ad-Din Abu Bakr Ahmed ibn Najm ad-Din Ayyub, al-Mulk al-Adil Saif al-Din Ab Bukur Bnab born 1145 died 1218 AD. From his honorific title Saif ad-Din Sword of Faith, he was known to the Frankish Crusaders as Safadin. He was a gifted and effective administrator and a capable general and strategist who provided crucial military and civilian support for the great campaigns of his brother Saladin. The foundation and persistence of the Ayyubid Sultanate was as much his achievement as Saladin's. 1218-6 March 1238 AD, the fifth Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt and Syria al kamil al -Mulk al -Kamil. During his tenure as Sultan, the Ayyubids defeated the Fifth Crusade 1213-1221 AD. He was known to the Frankish Crusaders as Melidon. He was defeated in the Sixth Crusade however, and as a result, he ceded Jerusalem. He is famous in Western history for his cordial meeting in 1219 AD with St. Francis, as apparently he thought that St. Francis was an embassy of the Crusaders to reach a settlement. The 6th of March 1238-1240 AD, the 6th Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt and Syria al-Adil II al-Mulk al-Adil al-Bukur bn al-Kamil al-Malik al-Adil Saif ad-Din Abu Bakr ibn Nasir ad-Din Muhammad Saif al-Din al-Mulk al-Adil al-Bukur bn Nasir al-Din Memdi born c. 1221 died 9 February 1248. When his father al-Kamil, nephew of Saladin, died in 1238, al-Adil II followed him somewhat unprepared. When the country plunged into anarchy, his exiled half-brother, as Salah Ayyub, seized the opportunity and deposed him. Al-Adil died in prison eight years later in 1248 AD. 1240-22 November 1249 AD, the 7th Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt and Syria as Salah Ayyub, al-Malik as Salah Najm al-Din Ayyub. Al-Mulk Al-Sal Anjum al -Din. He was born in Cairo on 5 November 1205 and died 22 of November 1249 in Al-Mansura during the siege of Al-Mansura during the Seventh Crusade 1249-1250 led by Louis IX of France. 
as Salah Ayyub is nicknamed Abu al Futa. Ab al II of May 1250 to July 1250 AD, Shahar al Dur, Tree of Pearls, whose royal name was Al Malika Azmad ad Din Um Khalil Shahar ad Dur, Al Malk Smt Al Din M Khalil Shajar al Dur, nicknamed M Khalil Um Khalil, Mother of Khalil, died 28 April 1257 in Cairo. She was the wife of Sultan al Malik as Salah Ayyub, Al Malk Al Sul Enjim al Din Abe Egypt. S. 7th Ayyubid Sultan and later married Is al Din Abak, Egypt. S. Sultan of the Bari Mamluk dynasty. Abak married her to claim access to the throne. Shahar al Dur played a crucial role after the death of her first husband in al Mansura the 22nd of November 1249 during the Seventh Crusade. 1249 she became the Sultana of Egypt on May 2, 1250, 648 AH, marking the end of the Ayyubid reign and the start of the Mamluk era. Her reign was short, lasting under three months. Many Muslim historians believed that she was of Turkic origin and some believed that she was of Armenian origin. July 1250 AD, five days, first reign, Mamluk Sultan al Muiz is al Din Abak, 1250 1257 AD, 648 655 AH, assassinated, al Mulk al Z al Din Abe al Turkmani al Jankar. His official reign was from 1254 to 1257 AD, however, he was the de facto ruler since 1250 AD. July 1250-1254 AD, Ayyubid Sultan al Malik al Ashraf II Muzaffar ad Din Musa al Asharf Musi al Ashraf, reign 1250-1254 AD, 648-650 AH. Al Ashraf Musa al Ashraf Musi was the last, albeit titular, Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt. Al Ashraf Musa, Sultan of Egypt, was the puppet of the strong Mamluk ruler Is ad Din Abak. The episcopate of Pope Cyril III of Alexandria (1235–1243) fell during the reigns of Al Kamil (Al Mulk Al Kamil) (1218–1238 AD), Al Adil II (Al Mulk Al Adil Althani) (1238–1240), and his brother as Salah Ayyub (Al Mulk Al Sul) (1240–1249). Topic: Ordination. Topic. His predecessor, Pope John VI of Alexandria, the 74th Pope of Alexandria, died in 1216 in grief over the conversion of the entire population of Pentapolis in eastern Libya from Christianity to Islam, even though he had ordained a bishop for Pentapolis the five western cities after a long period where there was no bishop for this area in hopes of strengthening the church there. John VI came from a rich family before his ordination, but he lived a simple life and used his family wealth to pay for his expenses and for the expenses of the Patriarchate and those of his aides. He did not want to burden the church or its people with his expenses, but he lived all his days supporting himself and his companions, and he gave charity to the poor of his own money and refused to answer the demands of the church leaders in Alexandria for payments out of the church coffers as was the custom before him. Thus, in his time, sufficient money accumulated in the church coffers. This attracted the attention of a powerful monk and a priest named David Dawoud of Fayyam ibn Laklak who desired to seize this money. John VI was patriarch for 27 years 1189 AD. This simple pope had predicted before his departure that Pain would befall the church and its people and the Lord would establish a man who would come from where they did not know. John VI died unhappy about the state of affairs of the church and wary of the plans of Dawoud ibn Laklak. The ordination of Cyril ibn Laklak was controversial. On the very day that John VI died, supporters of the priest and monk David of Fayyam started lobbying for his consecration as patriarch, on his behest. However, there was severe opposition to his consecration. The selection of David of Fayyam was supported by many powerful individuals including the Ayyubite Sultan al-Adil reigned 1200-1218 AD, al-Mulk al-Adil there was a deadlock in reaching a decision but the supporters of David of Fayyam were powerful enough to block the selection of any other candidate. Thus, the episcopal seat remained vacant for 19 years. This is the longest vacancy of the seat of the Bishop of Alexandria in the history of the Coptic Orthodox Church. Finally, David of Fayyam was selected as patriarch against the opposition of many. Due to his influence before he became the pope it was not possible to ordain any other person except him, which led to about 19 years of vacancy of that important post. 
This is the longest vacancy in the history of the Coptic Orthodox Church. <inaudible> Jerusalem's Coptic Bishop Cyril used the increasing military and political power of Egypt over Jerusalem to appoint a Coptic Orthodox bishop of that church, which until then had been the prerogative of the Patriarch of Antioch. This angered Patriarch Ignatius III David, who retaliated by attempting unsuccessfully to fill the vacancy of Abuna or Metropolitan for the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. This was a very rare incident between the two churches, as in general their relationship is one of the strongest between any two churches. Simony Although he started his papacy by abiding to the Coptic Church's laws forbidding simony, he soon started selling ranks in the Church. The Coptic Church's bishops gathered in a synod in an attempt to prevent this. They decided to hold a general council of the clergy and the archons to look into the situation and make recommendations. Sultan al-Malik al-Salah Najm al-Din Ayyub took the initiative and summoned that council. It is thought that Cyril II bribed the caliphal court with 12,000 dinars and due to this he was able to swing the verdict, continuing the practice of simony. <laughs> Death Despite opposition to Cyril he was able to rule the church in relative peace until his death in 1243. His reign lasted seven years, nine months, and ten days, and he was buried in Wax Monastery at Giza, Egypt. After his death his throne of St. Mark remained vacant for seven years. St. <laughs> Francis of Assisi in Egypt in September 1219 In 1219, accompanied by another friar, St. Francis of Assisi went to Egypt during the Fifth Crusade 1213 AD hoping to convert the Sultan of Egypt, al kamil believing that if this should happen, it would be sufficient to put an end to the conflict of the Crusades, or win martyrdom in his attempt. Earlier, St. Francis tried to go to Morocco once, but he became ill by the time he reached Spain on his way to Morocco. The other friars who accompanied him and continued on to Morocco to preach to the Muslims became martyrs there. In the summer of 1219, a crusader army had been encamped for over a year besieging the walled city of Damietta. At the start of the siege, the Sultan, al kamil a nephew of Saladin reign 1174-1193, who had just succeeded his father Sultan al-Adil I reign 1212-18 as Sultan of Egypt, was encamped upstream of Damietta, unable to relieve it. A bloody and futile attack on the city was launched by the Crusaders on August 29, 1219, following which both sides agreed to a ceasefire which lasted four weeks. It was most probably during this interlude that St. Francis and his companion brother Pacifico crossed the enemy lines and were brought before the Sultan, remaining in his camp for a few days. The visit is reported in contemporary Crusader sources and in the earliest biographies of St. Francis, but they give no information about what transpired during the encounter beyond noting that the Sultan received Francis graciously and that Francis preached to the Muslims without effect, returning unharmed to the Crusader camp. The Sultan, al kamil received him kindly. No contemporary Arab source mentions the visit. One detail, added by St. Francis's companion and biographer, Friar Bonaventure 1221-1274 in the official life of Francis written in 1259, 40 years after the event, is that St. Francis offered to challenge the Sultan's priests, i.e. Islamic alema or sheikhs to trial by fire in order to prove the veracity of the Christian gospel. Although Bonaventure asserts that the Sultan refused to permit the challenge, subsequent biographies went further, claiming that a fire was actually kindled which Francis unhesitatingly entered without suffering burns. According to some late sources, the Sultan gave Francis permission to visit the sacred places in the Holy Land and even to preach there. All that can safely be asserted is that Francis and his companion left the Crusader camp for Acre, where they spent 9-11 months. From Acre, they embarked for Italy in the latter half of 1220. The Franciscan order has been present in the Holy Land almost uninterruptedly since 1217 when Brother Elias arrived at Acre. 
It received concessions in 1333 from the Mamluk Sultan of Egypt Al-Malik Al-Nasir Nasir ad-Din Muhammad reign 1310 with regard to certain holy places in Jerusalem and Bethlehem. Primary sources for church history for the period of Patriarch Cyril III 1235 AD. 1. History of the Patriarchs. Manuscript No. 91, at the Library of the Coptic Patriarchate. 2. History of the Patriarch. By Abba Yusab Bishop of Fo, 13th century, based on a manuscript at the Monastery of the Virgin Mary known as the Syrian Monastery, and a copy thereof in the Librae of Gurgis Philotheos Awad, a prominent Coptic scholar of the 20th century. 3. The Letters of Cyril ibn Laklak. Manuscript No. 291 Theology, at the Library of the Coptic Patriarchate. 4. Kitab al Tawarik, by Abi Shaker ibn al Rahab. Manuscript copy in the Libre of Gurgis Philotheos Awad, a prominent Coptic scholar of the 20th century. 5. History of Myron, Chrismation Oil. Manuscript No. 101 Rites, at the Library of the Coptic Patriarchate. 6. History of the Patriarchs. Manuscript No. 15 History, at the Library of the Coptic Patriarchate. 7. Canons of the Fathers. Manuscript No. 5 History, at the Library of the Coptic Patriarchate. 8. Canons of the Fathers. Manuscript dated to 1072 AM 1356 AD, manuscript copy in the Libre of Gurgis Philotheos Awad, a prominent Coptic scholar of the 20th century. 9. Al Magma wa al Safwi el Ibn al Asal, printed by Gurgis Philotheos Awad, a prominent Coptic scholar of the 20th century, printed at Al Tafiq Press, based on a manuscript in his possession. Topic: <laughs> Secondary sources for church history for the period of Patriarch Cyril III, 1235 to 1243 AD. Topic. 1. M. Chian. Calendar and History of Christian Times in Egypt and Ethiopia. Paris. French language book. 2. Marcos Semica Pasha. List of books located at Library of the Coptic Patriarchate. 3. Marcos Semica Pasha. List of books located at Coptic Museum. 4. Society of Saint Mina at Alexandria. Images from the History of the Copts. 5. Father Louis Seco. The Arabic Manuscripts of the Christian Authors. References